morning, Hackett High School. We're here with your first video edition of The Buzz. And your hosts today are your boys, Kyler Groff and Zach Neal. Yeah. We're coming to the close of the school year, and there's a lot of exciting stuff coming up. And the major one that everybody's thinking about now is prom. Everybody's worried about it, and we're going to go to Bree to give you more coverage on that. Thanks, guys. And now for your prom news. This year has gone by fast. And now we are approaching prom season. Girls have been shopping for their dresses, and guys, well, they have been doing whatever it takes for them to get ready. The prom is going to be held on May 4th at Columbus Acres. The theme is a mystery for some, but if you don't know the theme, you're gonna, it's going to be really exciting, and it's going to be different. So everybody be excited and be ready. So May the 4th be with you. Now back to the news, guys. Thanks, Bray. We'll be looking forward to prom. Next up, we're going to go to Brooklyn with news on the senior trip. Thank you. Senior trip, once again, will be in Branson, Missouri. They will leave April 11th and return the 13th. In Branson, the seniors will have fun with activities including a show, solar city, shopping, cooking, and much more. So basically, an all-around good time. While there, they will stay at Thousand Hills Resort Log Cabin, in which the seniors will have stayed in four past trips. Thanks, Brooklyn. Most of the seniors will be looking forward to that. And now, for all of you that love cars out there, the Senior Car Show is coming up, and we're going to go to Kyle for that. The Hackett Senior Class has a car show every year, and this, this year will be the ninth annual car show, and it is a fundraiser for the senior trip. The car show will be at the Hackett City Park on April the 6th. The show starts at 8 a.m., and there will be a poker run as well. Several bands will play throughout the day, and there will be concessions sold, all proceeds go to the senior class. Glad to have you back, Kyler. We'll be looking forward to that car show. Sports in, at Hackett High have been really interesting this year. We've uh, set records and we've even made history. For the current news on sports, we're going to go to our sports team. And now for your softball and baseball news. The softball team hasn't practiced in long. Matter of fact, they only had four days to practice before their first game on the 8th. Against Graham, the girls lost with a score of 11-1. to Moore and Durham showed great stats, going 2-3 for three during this game. The next game was HHS against Eureka Springs. Hackett won with a final score of 15-2. to two. Brittany Walklear led batting. She had a grand slam with four RBIs. Good luck the rest of the year, girls. And now for baseball. The Hackett High School baseball team had a season opener on March 6th. The Hornets took on Subiaco. They lost with a score of 7-4. to four. Dustin Kirkpatrick went 2-4, for four, scoring one run. And Hunter Fuller had three hits out of four at bat. The Hornets' next game was played on March 7th at Magazine. The Hornets lost the game with a score of 7-1. to one. Buddy Nichols was 1-2 for two with a run score. Way to go. The Hackett Hornets went to regionals on February 22nd. They played Western Yale and lost the game. The score was 47-26. It wasn't their best game, but they still played their hardest. It was a good year for the Hornets. They ended their season with an overall record of 14-13. and 13. The leading scorers during the regional game against Western Yale were Buddy Nichols with 8 points and Colton Byers with 7 points. Now for the ladies. The senior leading Hornets had a great season. The girls made an all-the-way state tournament and finished the season with a record of 16-13. and 13. For the state tournament against... Norflit, Tara Blanton led scoring with 14 points, and Brittany Locker had nine. Nice job, Lady Hornets. Also, congratulations to the junior high Lady Hornets, who finished with a season and record of 19 to four, and they were also just district champions. Nice job. Now for your bowling. Hackett High School bowling team did great this year. They went to districts as well as state. One person who stood out was Cody Holsey. Jesus, that boy had good potential. He got all district, and all state. Congratulations, Cody, and to the bowling team. In the Special Olympics sports, this year has been a great year. The Hackett Special Olympics team not only won first place in flag football, but also placed high in bowling. More recently, the Special Olympics basketball team placed first and second place in the state, turn in the state tournament. Let's go to Lyndon Magnus for more details. We've been doing very well this year. We've taken gold in every event that we, we have participated in. The thing I enjoy the most about Special Olympics is seeing the look on the athletes' faces when they get out there and get to compete in whatever event that they're in. 
And the thing that I enjoy second best is winning all the gold that we seem to be breaking. Thanks, Linda. We're all proud of our Special Olympics team. Way to make us all proud, guys. Back to you! Thanks, guys. We're always proud of our Hackett athletes. One thing for sure, it's not boring here, and we're going to give you some entertainment news. Some of these people, they might have not said it out loud, but there are a few brave people that are here to give you their confessions. Hello there, and this is your Hackett High School confession column. Bradley Whitaker, I like country music. Whoa now, Brooklyn Pearson has a crush on Bradley Whitaker. Minda, I'm addicted to my cell phone. Me too. Um, Amber Satterfield, I like pickles. <coughs> JT Molina, I like turtles. Terrell Washington, I ride skateboards. Kiora Smith, I love them all. Anders Cameron, I love my best friend, Menders. Miss Leap Trot, I like to watch reality TV shows. And now for our anonymous. I like the smell of armpits. Yum. <laughs> I think Zagnell is awesome. I pick my nose. I love my tube socks. <laughs> okay, I like to wear my socks in the shower. I'm addicted to buying name brand things. I like deep spinach, but it makes me a little gassy. <laughs> but, and these are your confessions with Brianna McCann and Ashley Hood. Have a nice day. Hello. I'm the love doctor, and I'm here to answer your questions. Today's question is from an anonymous person. Yo, love doctor. My friend Jones has a crazy, psychotic ex-girlfriend who is starting to take a hankering for me. I'm good friends with her brother, too. This is not good. I do not feel the same way. In fact, I feel the right opposite. I think she is nuts. I think she's going to make a move on me on an upcoming school-affiliated event. The computer class I have with her is starting to get kind of weird, scary. What do I do? Peace out, Hornets 2013. Well, my people, in my many years of love, you have to be honest with her. If you don't like her, tell her because it's only going to get worse for you. You still have some time for this trip to talk to this girl and tell her. If you wait for the trip to come up, she's going to try to hang out with you and talk with you. It's only going to be bad for you. So, you should try to be nice to this person and tell her how you feel. Don't be mean about it. This person could also be getting back at your friend for some reason. So, don't wait till the trip to talk to her. You should tell her now so the trip, so that both of you can have fun. Just be nice about it. This month we are covering a very serious topic of bullying. I've been attending Hackett School for 12 years. I've enjoyed most of my time here, and I will miss my friends after I graduate. One thing I won't miss, however, is seeing students be cruel to one another. In general, bullying seems to happen in most schools on a regular basis, and it needs to stop now. It is ridiculous. Most students have no idea how much pain they can actually make people go through when they harass them. Even name-calling is hurtful, playing or not. So many people call each other names. They even do it on Facebook. When a child or teen is bullied, after a while, they often just give up on themselves and start to believe what everyone says. Even though it isn't true, many people end up depressed or even worse. Bullying is not only physical. It can be spread, spread by rumors, physical abuse, leaving someone out, horrible texts, mean words, hitting, damaging property, threats, teasing, or sending mean emails. I want you all to close your eyes for a second and picture yourself walking down the hallway and someone walks up to you, throws your stuff on the ground and starts screaming at you, calling you names. How does this make you feel? Not too good, right? How do you think that person you're doing it to feels? It does not matter what color we are, what size we are, or how we dress, or what we look like. All that matters is what's on the inside. Stop seeing people for the way they look. See them for their personality. If you see someone being bullied, please go get an adult or a teacher. Help us stop bullying, please. This is your opinion column with Ashley Hood. And now time for your senior spotlight. Today we are going to get to know Leanna Mitchell. I asked Leanna a few questions about her personal life and her future plans. When I get out of high school, I want to go into the criminal justice field, a crime scene investigation to be specific. I hope to be a forensics detective. Start out with the Fort Smith Police Department, but I, I want to move up from there. 
planning on going to UFS, but I don't want to stay in Fort Smith my whole life, so it depends on financial factors if I can move away or not, but for now the plan is UFS. I moved to Hackett from Greenwood my ninth grade year, the second semester, and so far I, I really like it here a lot better than I did Greenwood. I love that Hackett's people are so, like, chill. They're not judgmental, there's a lot less drama than there was at Greenwood. Everybody just gets along and there's not as many little stupid clicks. And this is going to be through the eyes of the seniors. Um, as I look back through my senior year and back through school, I realize I'm going to miss all my friends and all the memories that we made. I'm going to keep forever. There's been some great times, some worse times, but that'll be with me throughout my years to come. And I'll remember my friends and I won't forget them. Now is the time I've been looking at colleges, and I finally settled down on one. I'm going to be going quite a bit of ways for my friends. It's going to be hard because I'm going to miss them, but I know that they're always going to have my back, and they'll be there for me when I need them. Mm -hmm. And I've just had an amazing time at this school. So keeping a log of my senior year, I've realized that it's really flown by. It's so crazy. This year's um, girls basketball team, we actually went to state, and even though I didn't win, I'm really proud of my whole team, proud of all my girls, and I want to wish the next year's team all the best, because I know that they can do it just like we did. Uh, seniors, we are two months away from graduation. That's so crazy. Two months. And it's just, I'm so ready for graduation, but at the same time, I'm really nervous for the separation. Um, I have a, really, a lot of really close friends, and I know that they're going to be going to schools that are like two, three hours away from my school, and it's just crazy that I'm not going to get to see them every single day. Thanks, guys. We enjoyed the entertainment news. And this has been your first edition, first video edition of The Buzz with Kyler Groff and Zach Neal. But before we go, we're going to leave you with the Harlem Shake with some of Hackett's finest. And remember, stay classy. Con los terroristas